Britain was once home to many different animals, many different exotic animals. Unfortunately, some of these are no longer with us, some of them are. From great whales to oversized rats, to mammoths and bears, can you imagine them roaming these lands? Hey everyone, welcome to Animal Educate. My name's Abby. Today, we're going to be looking at animals that used to live in the UK. There's an estimated 500 British species that have become extinct in the last few thousand years. Extinctions in Britain have three main causes. Climate change, as the ecosystem swung from temperate woodland and pasture. Habitat loss by humans, such as clearing of woodland or draining of marshland and hunting by humans. Throughout the Pleistocene, the Ice Age, the climate alternated between cold glacial periods, including times when the climate was too cold to support much fauna. So Britain has been an ever-changing landscape, and because of this, some animals have disappeared. If a habitat can no longer sustain a population, that animal then dies out. There was once a land bridge between Britain and continental Europe. This area between France and Britain has been called Doggerland. It's once the route that giants of the Ice Age would have taken to and from warmer climates of southern Europe. Let's look at some animals that have disappeared from the UK. Some of them are from thousands of years ago, some of them much more recently. The cave lion. Cave lions died out in the UK around 12 to 14,000 years ago. Their extinction coincides with when humans were getting into farming as the ice retreated from northern hemispheres. From skeletons found across Europe, we know these lions were up to 25% bigger than the average lion you might see in Kenya, and we have a good idea what they looked like from cave paintings. They lived in prides and hunted northern Europe's megafauna. The woolly rhinoceros. The rhinos of Ice Age Britain, like the mammoths, were covered in thick fur to help them survive the vicious cold. Woolly rhinos arrived in Britain later than the woolly mammoths, and their populations dwindled there earlier too. The straight-tusked elephant. Over the last half million years, they wandered in and out of Britain through Doggerland, heading to warmer climates when temperatures plummeted and returning to the north during warmer phases. This 13-ton elephant was significantly bigger than the woolly mammoth. Its long tusks looked like spikes. Britain lost the straight-tusked elephant for good around 120,000 years ago, towards the end of a particularly cold period. The scimitar-toothed cat. This predator could reach up to 5.5 feet long and weighed in the region of 100 kilograms. It is a type of saber-toothed cat, which are sometimes called saber-toothed tigers. Upper canines drop down to the bottom of its lower jaw with incredibly sharp serrated edges for tearing through its prey. They arrived in Britain nearly 0.75 million years ago when the climate was relatively warm. It's less certain when they left. The cave bear. The bears that lived in Britain through the Ice Ages were bigger than the largest bears alive today. Their teeth and short, strong claws allowed them to take on some of the most fearsome predators. The enormous bears were mostly herbivores, but they could eat meat if it was available. They were quite actively hunted by humans and Neanderthals. We also competed with bears for space. The woolly mammoth. The woolly mammoth lived in the UK during prehistoric times, but died out around 10,000 BC after the Ice Age. It was one of the last in a line of mammoth species. Scientists believe they populated most areas of the UK. The woolly mammoth was roughly the same size as modern African elephants. They were well adapted to the cold environment during the last Ice Age. They were covered in fur, with an outer covering of long guard hairs and a shorter undercoat. Humans used its bones and tusks for making art, as well as tools. They were also hunted for food. After more than 100,000 years of surviving, the mammoth finally died out from the British Isles around 11,000 years ago. The Dalmatian pelican. 
When the UK was covered in reed beds, marshes and large shallow stretches of water, the Dalmatian pelican was thriving. It was common 12,000 years ago and bones have been found in peat bogs in Norfolk, East Yorkshire and Somerset from the Bronze and Iron Ages. 2,000 years ago, the drainage of these wetlands alongside hunting and disturbance led to the extinction of the Dalmatian pelican. Various organisations and individuals are working very hard to bring these majestic creatures back to Britain. The Wolf The wolf was a successful predator after the last ice age. It feasted on many mammals that thrived across the open grassland and woodlands thousands of years ago. Wolves were seen to pose a threat to both humans and animals bred for food, so they were hunted to extinction by the mid-18th century. The population of grey wolves has increased across Europe. There are larger populations that can be found in North America, Canada, Alaska and Asia. In caves, remains of wolves suggest they were domesticated as early pets for protection and help during hunts. There's been lots of debates for many years now about returning wolves to the UK. This is to keep the deer population down, but also to revive the environment as they're a key species and play a very important role in the ecosystem. But this, unfortunately, due to villainization and lack of space in the UK, it remains highly controversial. The brown bear. Brown bears once lived in UK forests in ancient and early medieval times. Remains discovered in a cave in Yorkshire Dales indicate there were still brown bears living in Britain around 425 to 594 AD, but it's not entirely clear when wild native brown bears went extinct in the UK. It could have been as long ago as the Bronze Age or as recent as the medieval period. They were overhunted for their fur. They can still be found in continental Europe, North America and Asia, typically in forests and mountainous areas. Aurochs Aurochs are an ancient wild cow with huge curved horns. They were larger than the modern day cow. After the last ice age, they lived in low densities across Britain. They grazed on low-lying open flat grassland, floodplains, birch woodland and even salt marsh. They died out just over 3,500 years ago. They were hunted and eaten by bears, wolves and people. The Lynx After the last ice age, lynx were widespread across the UK, but has not been seen in Britain since the medieval times. Some reports reveal that they were still around in northern Britain 1,550 years ago. They're a very elusive species and they hunt in darkness. They have excellent eyesight and hearing. Deforestation and hunting were major factors in the disappearance of the lynx. It led to a decline in deer populations. This is a key food source and the trees offered cover for hunting prey animals. The Great Orc The Great Orc was a large flightless bird resembling a penguin and was almost twice the size of the similar looking razorbill, which can still be found at coastal breeding sites around the UK. It's lived in large colonies in and around the North Atlantic, mainly on remote and rocky islands. The UK's last Great Orc was killed in 1840 and just four years later the species became globally extinct. The last known breeding pair in the world died in 1844, where they were killed on an island off the coast of Iceland. They were easy targets for hunters because they couldn't fly and they moved very slowly and there was a market for their eggs. Their feathers were also used to stuff mattresses. A parliamentary act that banned the killing of the great orcs for feathers was implemented as a last resort to save them in 1794 but it was too late. The elk. The elk, otherwise known as the moose, was a common sight across Britain before disappearing 8,000 years ago. They fell into extinction in the UK over 3,000 years ago, in part because of overhunting. They're one of the larger deer species on the planet, and they're able to cope with the long cold winters of Northern and Eastern Europe, as well as Asia, where there's still populations. Humans hunted them for meat and skins. Their huge antlers were used as tools, Vegetation, hunting and fragmentation of their environment saw them disappear from the British landscape. The White Stork The last pair of white storks nested in Britain just over 600 years ago. The disappearance was a result from hunting and the loss of watery habitats. 
They enjoy large open marshland, rivers and wet farmland which was already disappearing in Britain even in the 1400s. To help them re-establish, white storks are being introduced at the Net Estate in West Sussex. The Bison Living in large herds, bison enjoyed the vast open landscapes known as mammoth steppe that replaced swaths of forests. As the climate warmed, the bison disappeared. Archaeological evidence suggests that they were more common on cold tundras of Britain before the last ice age, going back tens of thousands of years to a million years ago. They would have been eaten by hyenas, saber-toothed cats and humans. The Grey Whale the huge mammals, which weigh 27,000 kilograms, are native to the Pacific Ocean, but not many are thought to remain. The grey whales make migrations north along the west coast of North America to feed in the rich northern waters over summer. Grey whales used to make a similar journey to the Atlantic. They fed in Britain's estuaries and shallow bays until around 400 years ago. The grey whale lived in the UK waters until 598 BC, but there's records from Cornwall dating back to 1,329 years ago. Devon claims one of the latest records of this species in the Atlantic, in the year 1610. The Atlantic population quickly plummeted, again as a result of hunting. It was lost completely around 400 years ago. It's not yet clear whether bringing them back to Britain is logistically possible. The common tree frog. The common tree frog was no larger than a 2p coin and was recorded as early as 1646 in Britain. It was able to survive in our cold and sometimes freezing climate. Archaeological remains go back hundreds of thousands of years. A breeding colony existed in the New Forest until the late 1980s. Changing habitat and collectors saw the end of this unprotected species in Hampshire. The Koipu. The Koipu has been referred to as a giant rat-like creature. It's weighed around 6 kilograms and is semi-aquatic. It was first brought over to Britain from South America in 1929 and then farmed for its fur. Many managed to escape these farms and started breeding, but their grazing caused damage to habitats for local birds and plants, as well as to local agriculture, so it was decided they needed to be culled and eradication was complete by 1989. The beaver. The beaver once lived in most of our rivers and after becoming extinct here, perhaps in the 18th century, they've recently been re-established in many rivers. They have many ecological beneficial effects, including reducing floods, restoring stream beds and providing habitats for many other species. The short-haired bumblebee. The short-haired bumblebee, native to the south of England, became extinct in 1989. This followed the decline of wildflower meadows after World War II, when agriculture was intensified to feed the growing population. The species still thrives in New Zealand and other European countries. The bluefin tuna. Shoals of giant bluefin tuna migrated round our coasts until about 80 years ago. Big game fishing probably contributed to the tuna's demise. Today they appear very rarely off our coasts, but would be likely to return if there's a reduction in fishing pressures. Wild boar. Wild boar survived in England until at least 1300, but had been hunted to extinction by the 17th century. There's currently thought to be between 500 and 1000 animals in the UK. The biggest populations are in Kent, East Sussex and the Forest of Dean in Gloucestershire, with others in Devon, Bedfordshire, Dorset and Scotland. Wild boar are among the most important of Britain's ecological engineers. They're threatened by the government's policy of allowing landowners to decide whether or not they should be allowed to survive. The Pine Martin The Pine Martin was once widespread across Britain. They're often regarded as cute and are popular animals for reintroduction. In Ireland, Pine Martins appear to have rolled back the grey squirrel population. This allows red squirrels to recolonise much of their old territory. There's been a surge of interest in restoring the species in Britain because of this. Persecution and deforestation caused the Pine Martin populations to decline. 
By 1915, they had disappeared from everywhere but northwest Scotland, with smaller scattered populations in the uplands of Wales and northern England. The Eagle Owl A small number are living in Britain again, either escapes or migrants from elsewhere in Europe. It's unclear when the Eagle Owl last lived here. Fossil record is very sparse, nor is there any certainty about why it disappeared. This vast and beautiful bird is controversial, as it sometimes kills other raptors. The White-Tailed Eagle The White-Tailed Eagle was wiped out in Britain in 1916 by persecution and egg collecting. It was restored in the Isle of Rum in 1975 and has since spread along the west coast of Scotland. I love looking at the history of the UK and animals that used to roam here. It's fascinating to think how many animals used to thrive here. Although extinction is natural to an extent, it is upsetting to learn how much humans have contributed to a lot of these extinctions. We need to reflect and we need to look at history and we need to look at what we can do now to prevent this from happening. So many animals are continuing to go extinct every single day. What can we do as individuals to help? There is so, so much each of us can do. I hope you've enjoyed this episode today, guys, looking at UK and the wildlife that once roamed its lands. If you've got anything to say at all, please do comment below or email me. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like. Thank you so much and until next time.